All right, tech fans, buckle up. Here's another edition of Chance Tech Briefs. This week, we've got a blockbuster to unpack. Huawei is dropping not one, but two new Harmony OS-powered laptops, including their first ever foldable stunner, the Huawei MateBook Fold. Oh, and there's juicy gossip from Amazon and Apple too. Let's get into it. On May 19th, alongside the Nova 14 smartphone series, Huawei rolled out the red carpet for two new PCs the MateBook Pro, and the real scene stealer, the MateBook Fold. Now, Huawei is no stranger to foldable tech. Remember those wild trifold phones? But a foldable laptop? That's a whole new ball game. Although, let's be honest, haven't laptops technically been folding since the 90s? Well, not like this one. The MateBook Fold is basically a tech transformer. Unfold it, and you're staring at a massive 18-inch dual-layer OLED display. Ideal for binge-watching spreadsheets or pretending you're a digital Picasso. Fold it down to 13 inches, and it turns into a sleek, portable productivity beast. Here's where it gets fun. Fold it at a 90-degree angle, and the bottom half becomes a virtual keyboard, giving you a setup that's part sci-fi, part actually useful. The OLED screen is stunningly crisp, and it's clear Huawei's flexing, totally intended, with this one. But it's not just a fancy, oversized tablet. This thing runs Harmony OS 5, Huawei's in-house PC operating system, not some watered-down tablet OS pretending to be a desktop. It's designed for real productivity with smart touch interactions depending on how you fold it. Need a keyboard? Boom, it appears on screen. Want full tablet mode? No problem. It's like Huawei asked, why settle for one device when you can have three in one? And now the price tag. 23,999 RMB or around 3,300 USD for the base model. 32 GB RAM plus one TB storage. Yep, you read that right. For that kind of cash, you could snack a decked out gaming PC, a couple of iPhones or a gently used jet ski. In China, reactions have been mixed. Some folks are drooling over the tech flex, while others are side-eyeing their bank accounts. So, what's your take? Would you drop the cash on this foldable marvel or hold out for something else? While it's not alone in this bendy tech race, rumor has it Amazon's cooking up a big foldable device of its own, eyeing a head-to-head -head with the MateBook Fold. If the stars align and the engineers don't nap, we might see it roll out by late 2026 or 2027. Imagine ordering your foldable laptop with next day prime shipping, Bezos might just pull it off. Then there's Apple, the king of we'll announce it when we're good and ready. Whisper suggests they're tinkering with a foldable device, 13 inches folded, 18.8 inches unfolded. iPad, MacBook, a magical hybrid? No one knows, and the operating system might be the deciding factor. But don't get your hopes up for WWTC 2025 on June 10th. That's all about software with iOS 19, iPadOS 19, macOS 16, and more taking center stage. No foldables from Cupertino just yet. And because no tech update is complete without some Apple bus, here's the latest on the iPhone 17 Air. Supply chain leaks say it's packing a 2800 mAh battery, weighs a featherlight 145 grams, and it's just 5.5 millimeter thick. That's thinner than a stack of pancakes at your favorite diner. Apple's clearly aiming for a phone so sleek, you'll forget it's in your pocket until it rings, of course. We just wrapped up Huawei's foldable laptop launch, but the future of tech isn't just about folding screens. It might be about wearing them too. Enter Project Aura, a pair of smart glasses straight out of a sci-fi flick. Yep. Smart glasses are back in the spotlight. And if you're thinking, didn't Google already try this with Google Glass? You're absolutely right. That one didn't exactly become the next iPhone. But now Google's teaming up with Xreal to take another swing. So is this the real deal or just another entry in Google's AR graveyard? Let's take a look. First up, Xreal. Not ringing any bells? You're not alone. This Beijing-based startup's been around since 2017, quietly building AR and XR gear. They dropped the Xreal Air 2 Ultra, which looked promising but didn't exactly break the internet. Now they've partnered with Google on Project Aura, the second official device on the Android XR platform. The first was Samsung's Project Muhan. Yeah, we barely remember that one either. 
Can this underdog punch above its weight? Time will tell. So what is it exactly? Project Aura is a sleek pair of smart glasses powered by a Qualcomm Snapdragon XR chip, though Google's being cagey about which one. It runs Gemini AI and can overlay digital info on the real world or drop you into a virtual one. Think Iron Man, HUD, minus the billion dollar suit, but plot twist, even with its own processor, it still needs to be tethered to an Android phone. Yep, it's like buying a smartwatch that can only tell time if your phone's in your pocket. Not exactly seamless. Imagine showing off your slick new glasses only to fumble with your phone to turn them on. Not the flex they were going for, Xreal. Let's be honest, Google's AR track record is kinda cursed. Google Glass? More meme than mainstream. Daydream and cardboard? Fun while they lasted, but they ended up in the ever-growing Google graveyard, aka the place good ideas go to die. So yeah, Project Auras got some ghosts to shake off. And don't forget Meta, who's got their own AR glasses, codenamed Orion, slated for 2025. They've got the cash, the reach, and the momentum. Compared to Meta's likely standalone setup, Aura's phone-tethered vibe feels a bit mm, 2016. Like showing up to an F1 race on a scooter, Google and Xreal are calling Aura developer-friendly, saying it supports existing XR apps with minimal fuss. But let's be real. After watching Google Sunset more projects than a beach in Hawaii, devs might hesitate. Unless Aura brings something wildly different to the table, they'll probably play it safe with Apple or Meta. For now, we've got more questions than answers. Battery life? No clue. Performance? Price? To be determined. The big reveal is scheduled for the Augmented World Expo in June 2025, so until then, it's all vibes and speculation. All right, speaking of futuristic gear, let's pivot to something a little more grounded and a lot more colorful. The Eufy Make E1 UV printer. It's been turning heads on Kickstarter and for good reason. This little beast isn't just another desktop printer. It can print on over 300 materials from glass and wood to metal and leather. Flat printing, sure, but it also creates 3D textures up to five millimeter high, giving your design some serious tactile flair. Add in AI design tools, a self-cleaning printhead, and modular flatbed options, and you've got a pretty compelling setup. Oh, and there's a rotary add-on too for printing on mugs and cylindrical objects. Price-wise, the early Kickstarter backers scored it at $1,699, which is a steal compared to industrial UV printers that can go over $20K. The only real sting? The ink, $299 per cartridge set. If you're printing daily, that adds up fast. Still, the buzz is real. Over $2.5 million raised from 10,000 plus backers. Feedback's been mostly positive, with users praising its versatility and print quality. That said, some folks are side-eyeing Eufy Make's past, specifically how quickly their last printer line fizzled out. Long-term support? We'll see. If you're a creator, maker, or small biz owner looking to step up your product game, the E1 UV printers got serious appeal. It's not flawless, and costs hurt, and the brand's track record isn't spotless, but the potential? Huge. So, what do you think? Is Project Aura the comeback story Google needs, or just another beta product waiting to get axed? And could the Eufy Make E1 be the next must-have tool for makers? Drop your thoughts in the comments, and if you're enjoying these tech rundowns, hit that subscribe button. This is Chance Tech Briefs. Until next time, stay curious and keep your gadgets close.